Right guys, tea break over. <laughs> that was important. Always like my tea break here. Yeah. yeah, we were just by the meat market here guys. We were over there near William Wallace's um, plaque on the wall. <clears throat> yeah, this is the old infamous meat market. It's, um, it's, like it's close now, it's not busy now. They get up really early in the morning now. All the shopkeeper, the shoppers, people who own the shops come really early in the morning and take their delivery. Oh, there's loads. If you come here in the morning, you'll see all vans here, all parked up like that white van there, truck, delivery truck, meat trucks. They're all uh, busy whizzy. You'll see a lot of um, carts with meat on there and everything. So uh, if you want to come here in the morning, get your meat. Because you have to get up really up early in the morning and come and get your meat. It's just like the fish market, Billingsgate. It's the same thing with there. You have to get up really early. Uh, how would you like a Billingsgate uh, video of Billingsgate, guys? I'll get up really early in the morning and um, have a little uh, tour around Billingsgate. It's got a lovely calf. <laughs> I'll be right up for that. Yeah. Yeah, normally they go in and out of these. It's a large hall yard from that end to the other end, and uh, it's full of different types of meat and uh, game. And you know, these are the vans that deliver all the meat all around London and beyond. <clears throat> Let's see if we can have a little quick look. Butchers in there, can we, can we? No, they're close. Oh, you can't hear anyway. So, see this? That's what the market's like in there in the olden days. There's the Queen Mother. I think this is where the Second World War the damage 1945 the V2 rocket. Wow, look at the damage, massive damage. Yeah, look at that. People being stretchered in the ambulances. That's the old ambulances there, guys. He's doing his bandages for him. There must have been uh, meat wagons or something like that. Bit of history there for you guys. It's a nice little walkabout around here, really. As you see the history, what it used to be like, to what it is now. There you go. Yeah, that's that's the. I think this is the entrance we're in now. You can see these used to be all stalls, there used to be a football team. This is the old cart. There's all the meat hanging up. I think they used to bring them all from up north. And they used to walk them down here, some of them, if they didn't get in the trucks. And that's way before, like, vehicles and stuff like that. So it tells you how old this place is. Awesome cart. Yeah, plenty of history here, guys. I don't know who built this place. This is. No entry, this market is now closed. So, show you what it looks like. See, so you've got your old. Uh, it's like a delicate, delicate deli counters, really. So they all got individual counters, and you order your meat that way, and maybe, yeah, that way as well. Let's have a look at the other side. Let's have a good old butch, is eh? <laughs> You get that? Good old butch. There's all like different markets, different meat 
uh, producers all in there guys that's what it's like I wonder if it's got a nice calf <laughs> I don't know what's up there guys I've never been there it's free entry so get up early in the morning and come down there's more more pictures from the war, war. There's the fireman trying to put all the fire out. Look at it, this is like an aerial view. Do you ever go in? Corn beef. <laughs> Crikey. Do you remember corn beef? I haven't had a bit of corn beef for ages. I thought for some loads of nightclubs around here guys so in the evening it's quite a nice place to come out see they're all, they're all cleaning make sure it's ready for tomorrow guys so. that's a St John's Terrace here I think It's the area, lunchtime, isn't it? So people having their lunch. They're all coming out of their offices and stuff like that. Their noodles, their chips. Burgers. Make, make me hungry, guys. <laughs> this is St John's Street. Cow Cross Street. It's got all little takeaways and stuff like that. Pubs, drinking places. This is buzzing in the evenings, guys. On a Friday evening, this place is absolutely buzzing. Because you've got Old Street just round the corner as well. We won't go St John's Street this way. We'll go down towards like the Barbican that way and uh, we'll cut there. Oh really? Yeah, Old Street, just literally down there. Or shall we? Now we'll just stick to this plan and walk back. How much uh, battery life? I ain't got much. How much video have we got? We've got about an hour's video on here left. I've got another battery with me. So, i can run over here. Now well, the lights are not working here, that's why it's a bit hit and miss. Yeah. yeah, it's getting a bit busy here because everybody's kicking out for lunch from the offices, scramming out. Sunset too. It's quite interesting, isn't it, really? A lot of history here, a lot. Little sandwich bars. Oh, you see, you've got little, little side street cuts here, look. look.
I've never been here. This bit here, I've been round here so many times, oh, thousands of times probably. <laughs> but never these shortcuts. Which you don't see really, do you? When you're walking around, you see so much more. And it's a bit more interesting really than if you'd gone past in a car. You don't see nothing, look at these old, old pubs, look, look at this. Fox and Anchor. Beautiful. Lovely. all these big big businesses they expand so much they need space so they build these monstrosity buildings which doesn't really fit in greed that's what it is <laughs> greed <laughs> no joking it's the time of life uh, it's time time of you know that's what it's like now everybody's uh, moving on You just imagine what sort of buildings was here, old buildings they've had to demolish or well, this look like a little abbey here. What is this? A little abbey or something? Or cobblestones. Thought, why am I tripping over? Right. I'm gonna go too far. So I have to go walk all the way. Up. Some pools again. <laughs> yeah, I'll do this in two parts, I think. First part, and this will be the second part. There's plenty more to do. Hear this lady's phone from this. Side. I think they're having a joint conversation. <laughs> you know, that's noise pollution. <laughs> Museum and chapel. Oh, lovely. It's a chapel. Lovely building, isn't it, really? Tombstone. That's really isn't it beautiful. Look at all the old the new brickwork stuff like that. Well kept, isn't it? Well, Chapel Court.
looks like the other church we ran into. What stone is that? Yeah. Um, that is the grave of Sir Thomas Manny from 1370 who founded the monastery. Oh, 1370. Wow. So, so William Monny, yeah? Uh, mm, yes. Died 1372. Yeah. So he, yeah, he founded the monastery. The Carthusian monastery that was here to pray for all the souls buried in Charterhouse Square after the Black Death. All oh, right, yeah, I see, I see that. Is that there where. Um, so William Wallace's plaque on the wall by um, West Smithfield is? Yeah, so the, well, the monastery was here. That was a burial ground for the victims of the plague. What, over the, in that's that park? That's where, yeah. Oh, really? I see. You've got more information. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> We're just exploring around. Oh, and nice. <laughs> Thank you for that. Right. Cheers. Oh, it's a very old place. 1372. Wow. And it used to be plague's burial ground over here as well, this park. You see how people think now, they turn it into a park. This all was a burial ground from the plague and everything. Nineteen fifties architect. Must be curves. think twice. Right, sorry about that, I had to change batteries. 
this is a good 360 Ace Pro, very good action cam really, better than the GoPro any day. Aldersgate Street here guys, goes into the Barbican here. Barbican roundabout is just there, that's where we're going. We've got Old Street just literally around the corner. These block of flats. Well maintained though. The concrete looks old but all the window frames and stuff like that all been renovated. All new wooden double glazed frames. is my favourite. Finsbury Park, Twix Cross, oh 20 minutes. <laughs> Jump on the train one day, um, on a bus one day guys. And just go once from one side of London to the other side. Barbican station, we could have jumped on it. I'll walk up to, uh, to uh, what do you call it, St Paul's. Same way we come. Here. It said 20 minutes. It was like two minutes. Barbican guys, so literally coming up here, straight into the Barbican there. I think I've been there since when I was a kid really, but I can't remember what it's like inside. I think London Mall there on the left.
There we go, this is the Barbican roundabout guys. And you've got Bart's Hospitals on our right hand side, that turning there, Bart's Hospital. So we'll end it here guys, because this St Paul's station just a bit down the road. Anyway, like I said guys, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and share if you can, it really helps the channel. Um, leave a comment what you think what you don't think <laughs> anything <laughs> thank you so much if you've watched it up to here guys really really appreciate it your support and everything cheers and thank you